Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, we're sitting in the great state of Texas on this absolutely gorgeous winter day. It is Saturday, January 21st, 2023, and, and guys, I've really been trying hard to ignore the boys at Davos. Uh, I, I, I managed to ignore, you know, John Kerry, uh, basically calling himself and his buddies at, uh, there with him at Davos, basically calling himself and his buddies space aliens. I guess Tucker Carlson has already covered that hilarious video clip of John Kerry calling uh, the boys at Davos extraterrestrials. And I, and speaking of John Kerry, I managed to keep my mouth shut when John Kerry, our, what is he called, our climate czar, this little uh, limp dick lefty John Kerry, uh, the climate czar cheering on a, the head of a fossil fuel corporation uh, over there in the Middle East being named as the new head of the climate talks of COP28. You know, they have, instead of just having 600 uh, oil and gas lobbyists, uh, over there uh, at the climate talks. Now they're just putting the CEO of a giant Middle Eastern oil company as the head of climate talks. John Kerry cheering that. I, I managed to keep quiet, but here I, I just can't, I, I just can't keep quiet. So do I read the story first? and then uh, interpret it for you, or do I interpret it for you and then read the story? This is right out of Reuters News on today's Yahoo News. Davos 2023, big oil comes in from the cold on energy transition. And uh, I think I will, let me just read the uh, opening paragraph and then I, I'll come back and read the whole thing. I'll put it on here. Um, a different type of energy transition has taken place at this year's World Economic Forum meeting. Unlike, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to come back and read the story. But before even before I read it, I, I, I'm just going to summarize what is going on at Davos. Uh, is uh, essentially, I have mentioned this before, that it is no longer a choice. You know, a, for years I've been saying it's frying pan or the fire. That either we, we let fossil fuels uh, kill the planet or we switch over to renewables and let the unadulterated horseshit renewable energy transition kill the planet. I've been acting like it's one or the other, but more and more, it is both and. Uh, now, it's an absolute, just brilliant, it's just a brilliant scheme they've come up with. What is going on, well, a little bit, certainly at COP27 and now at Davos, they have completely gutted all pretense that they give a fuck about this planet. Uh, it, it, and, and nowhere is it more just in your face obvious now there, that there is no intention of getting off of fossil fuels. That, one more time guys, it is the frying pan and the fire that both fossil fuel energy and this bright green lie energy, both of them are going to be, there's go, are, are, are going to be ramping up on this planet. So it's no longer the frying pan or the fire, it is the frying pan and the fire. 
what this article is talking about here on the mainstream media on Reuters News and Yahoo News is that the entire pie, the entire energy pie is growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger. And so even if the share of the pie of fossil fuels is getting a little bit smaller relative to all of this unadulterated horseshit, solar and wind and all of that shit. Uh, the total amount of everything is, is, is growing and growing and growing. And uh, these goddamn planet eaters uh, at, at Davos are, are, are now just, just throwing it in our face. Uh, 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 about this, uh, about where we're going. We are going to destroy the planet. We're going to keep destroying the planet with fossil fuels. That's not going to change one bit. And, not or, and we're going to continue, uh, we're, we're going to continue destroying the planet with all of this planet eating uh, bright green lie renewable energy horse shit uh, that uh, this dude John Kerry uh, uh, over there cheering on the boys at Davos and cheering on the CEO of a fossil fuel corporation leading the climate talks. Uh, and a another thing that you can look forward to is now that they've abandoned all pretense that the New World Order, the global corporatocracy, you know, the poster children of which obviously are the, are the Davos boys, the creme de la creme of the scum. You know how the scum floats to the top? The top scumbags on this planet have declared war on this planet, uh, and you better believe, since they have now abandoned any pretense that humanity is going to stop putting carbon emissions into the air, you're going to be hearing more and more and more cheerleading uh, in the mainstream media. Uh, you know, talking about sucking this, sucking CO2 out of the air. Uh, all of these unadulterated, horseshit, carbon sucking uh, technologies uh, to give. So now, big oil and big green uh, have just been given the big green light uh, from the scumbags floating to the top of the economic order, the world economic form. Uh, I'm going to start sounding like the, uh, the uh, what was I just called, a right-wing fanatic. Anyway, uh, but here's the actual article. So if, uh, I, I mean, I pretty much summarized for it, but let me go ahead and read the article as long as I'm sitting here on this beautiful day from Reuters News. Davos 2023, big oil comes in from the cold on energy transition. So this is the way that the mainstream media is reporting. And I, and I think this is a pretty good article, guys. I'm not knocking the article. I'm just uh, translating what you get. But I think it's a pretty good pretty good mainstream media article. I don't have any problem with it. <clears throat> a different type of energy transition has taken place at this year's World Economic Forum meeting. Unlike, oh yeah, I, for, I forgot to say, uh, my friend was, was, was talking about how this article sounds like the onion meets the every, uh, that novel by Dave Eggers. Uh, the every meets the onion. Okay, different type of energy transition has taken place at this year's WEF meeting in, uh, in Davos. Unlike 2021's COP26 climate conference in Glasgow, Scotland, where oil and gas executives were persona non grata, 
fossil fuel chiefs and renewable energy bosses set cheek by jowl in Davos. Activists and anyone else with a brain like Greta Thunberg do not like this, but some in the solar, wind, and hydro industry are warming to the carbon crowd. Yes, the carbon crowd. They're, they're all just now, uh, they're all just in bed together. It makes no difference. All of these planet eaters are in bed together. Uh, T. Preet Chopra, who heads one of India's clean energy <coughs> firms, was surprised to be invited to an event with more than 60 top oil and gas executives. Huh. He told Reuters, he told Reuters News, quote, the course of this transition will have to take a more inclusive approach until we all get to the finish line of where we all want to be. Yeah, the, the finish line. Uh, we will be getting to the finish line, uh, you know, sooner than previously thought. Uh, yes, the, we will all get to the finish line. There is, uh, I'm not sure that is the finish line we all want to be at, but uh, this clueless moron wants to be there. The shift partly triggered by the energy crunch after Russia's invasion of Ukraine has been front and center in Davos. Uh, uh, okay, guys, so once again, it is Vladimir Putin's fault. Okay, it is Vladimir Putin's fault that uh, we're doomed. Okay, if, if Vladimir Putin... And I'm no fan of Vladimir Putin. Uh, so if Vladimir Putin had not, you know, been the war criminal that he is and, and uh, invaded uh, Ukraine for being the war criminals that they are, uh, they're, I, I guess what they're saying is that 8 billion people would not be demanding more energy. So it is Vladimir Putin's fault. We need to have a, uh, a bogeyman to uh, blame it on, and he sure as hell is a convenient one. Okay. Oh, so good old Doomer in Chief UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres dedicated his speech to the non-existent energy transition. As soaring prices drove up inflation, forced industries to shut production and hiked energy bills, European leaders reversed plans to cut down on investments of new fossil fuels. OPEC Secretary General Haitham al -Gayas, huh? who is in Davos this week, imagine that, that OPEC Secretary was meeting up with John Kerry in Davos this week, has warned that, has warned correctly, has warned OPEC Secretary, blah, 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 has warned correctly that the sheer magnitude of economic growth means energy demand cannot be met by renewables alone. One more time. The sheer magnitude of economic growth means energy demand cannot be met by renewables alone. That is a true fact from OPEC Secretary General, and this is the fact 
that uh, little Doomer chicks like uh, Greta Thunberg and, and all of these little lefty, greeny, clueless morons, these huff post quaffing NPR uh, addicts uh, believing for one second that uh, our energy demands could be met by renewables alone, not even getting into the whole bright green lie of that horseshit. This is where Greta Thunberg, she has it half right. Totally clueless. Greta is totally clueless. Anybody thinking A, uh, that uh, we can or will, if we could, uh, get off fossil fuels when it ain't going to happen, uh, that we could meet a planet of 8 billion uh, people and growing uh, the energy demand. Ain't going to happen, Greta. I got some bad news for you and any other little uh, greeny lefty, which used to, up until about six months ago, I think included John Kerry. And I'm sure uh, Al Gore is going to show up here. Uh, <clears throat> that message echoed by many in the industry. So now the industry, it's no longer the oil and gas industry versus the green energy industry. It's no longer two industries. It is one industry. It is the energy. It is the industry. That message echoed by many in the industry, be it traditional fossil fuel producers or renewable energy uh, throughout the past year, found a bullhorn this at this year's uh, WEF meeting in, uh, in Davos. Uh, okay, here we go. This is Joseph McMonagall, Secretary General of the International Energy Forum. Quote, certainly the war in Ukraine, Ukraine added a premium, but the root cause is structural. We have tried to limit supply, whereas demand is not decreasing. Uh, exactly. The root cause is structural. So good for you, Joseph McMonagall, pointing out it is not Vladimir Putin's fault that the planet is, is going to burn to the ground. It, the root cause is structural. It is too many people eating too much stuff. It is humans. The root cause of the destruction of this planet as these little globalists at, uh, at the World Economic Forum will tell you or not is humans. Okay? This is penguins are, are not looking for this energy. All right? There is one species on this planet behind this. The, the root cause is the, is the structure of humans. Okay, so what does the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, OPEC in its 2022 World Oil at, Outlook estimates 12 over actually over 12 trillion dollars over 12 trillion dollars will be needed to be invested to meet oil demand till the year 2045 to avert energy crises uh, plural 12 trillion dollars is, is anybody still talking about the stranded assets? Anybody? Is, isn't it Al Gore 
always uh, talking this hilarious, happy horseshit about stranded assets uh, that that oil investors are, are going to lose their shirts. They're getting ready to dump twelve trillion dollars into fossil fuels over the next 20 years. Uh, and my guess is probably another 12 trillion dollars into the evil twin of, uh, of fossil fuels, which is this bullshit uh, green energy. Greta Thunberg was not the only voice at Davos with strong objections to the to the industry's new mantra that the energy crisis justifies new oil investments. International Energy Agency Chief Faith Birol in a meeting with Greta Thunberg on the sidelines on the sidelines of WEF said that new investments in oil fields will take years to become operational, which is true, and they would be too late to avoid the energy crunch, but would contribute to the climate crisis. And this is exactly right what she's saying. Anybody thinking uh, that they're going to be able to get all of these new oil fields up and running in time to avert this uh, multiple energy crises. Uh, ain't gonna happen. Um, like b -roll, British opposition leader Keir Starmer said the oil and gas sector has a role to play in the energy transition, quote, but not new investment, <coughs> not new fields up in the North Sea, because we need to go <coughs> towards net zero. We need to ensure that renewable energy is where we go next. Blah, 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 blah. And I will stop insulting your intelligence here. You can go on the link and read the rest of this story. Anyway, guys, uh, the onion meets the every... Uh, the planet eaters we have uh, d d just completely in bed together. It, it, it is one big orgy of uh, planet eating, apparently, according to John Kerry, extraterrestrials. Uh, it, it is not even it is not even humans. It is extraterrestrials. Uh, have taken over uh, the World Economic Forum, and uh, because certainly a you know a child of this planet would not be treating a planet like this. Anyway, but I'm going to wrap this up and um, might come back at you with another rant. But I gotta get out there and enjoy this absolutely gorgeous day and the collapse of global industrial civilization while I still can and put some fossil fuel slaves to work in my gas sucking truck. Go play some music with my friends while I still can. Bye guys.